Hello guys, welcome to part two of episode two. I am just to the... Hmm. North of my home base. Home is that way, uh, over the mountain. Uh, I found a swamp biome. I'm looking forward to exploring that. And this giant cave, also worth looking forward to exploring. But I need to get back. So uh, if you skipped part one, you're not really missing too much. It's just me finishing thoughts. So. And in this episode, I really kind of fall damage. Oh, I'm really gonna try and do some more stuff and explain how I got all my gear that I now have. So I need to get back. So I will. All right, and I'm back. And this is the guts behind uh, my smooth stone generator uh, and something strange has happened I had a uh, 2 by 2 infinite spring or a 3 by 1 infinite spring here with this block here in the uh, center I logged back in and now they're gone they're not even replaced with cobble. So, that's slightly strange. This is the uh, wiring to this little mechanical gizmo. Uh, and this is just a basic five clock. It's with a. Might as well make that a full. Uh, 12 torch delay but the thing I'm proud of it's probably nothing but to me it's something because I suck with redstone is this this is the clock stop someone's probably already made it and got a better name for it but I'm calling it the clock stop it's a simple device that has piston two blocks down a piston here and one gravel block Right now, the clock is on. What if I go back here? Down and bop, pull that. And let the lava escape. Hopefully that didn't look like it destroyed any of my wiring. You see that this is now down and the gravel block is down here with a piston and the clock has but um bump stopped so how does this work well redstone wire goes into this repeater which powers this block which turns on or off this torch inverting the sim signal that goes here. This line is powered by the block and it goes down to the and there is a repeater down there that's on a two tick delay I believe. Let me let me just dig this out. Nope it's just a standard repeater. Um, it's on a one tick delay so that's basically how it works and someone who has more skill with redstone than I could probably fix this to a button to where you push a button and it flips the system but why have a button and all that extra redstone and I need to find extra redstone anyway if I wanted to do that when a lever works just as well now I've got to fix this thing. I will get it fixed and I'll be back and I'm back and I've hopefully fixed the problem with this thing um, it was really strange I it worked earlier then I logged out and logged back in 
and these two water blocks were gone. So now I have to walk through this and let's see if it works. That's a good sign. There we go. I was waiting for this uh, cobble block because I placed it and wanted to see if it would cycle through. And it has. Awesome. So I can shut that. And for those of you who have been wondering what the hell is that chicken sound, it's a uh, chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I did a lot of uh, just little niceties. Uh, made cleaned this all up. Made some not, made a semi-safe area for me to come out in and look at the world. Let's see. I hope this works. Nope. That hatch is my idea. Um, <laughs> no one came up with this hatch before me. Just want you all to know. But, yeah, I just made uh, what has now been dubbed the, four, the Three Seasons Room. Um, I personally... I got a sheep in a hole. <laughs> New. New. Don't look at me that way. Are you looking at me that way? I can't tell. <sighs> Hello, guys. Welcome back. I am a long way from my base. Well, relatively far. There it is. I'm out here to uh, show you guys where I've been getting all my iron and redstone. Down there. That is the cave I'm currently exploring. There's a lot more to explore down there and I'm going to have a ton of fun beating it and getting all its goodies. Uh, I've yet to find a dungeon down there which is really sad but there's plenty of room. I'm looking forward to uh, emptying it out. There's a lot of darkness down there, though. So, that's where it's come from so far. Uh, I don't want to do a mine at this point. So, I'm going to try and just stick with caves. And I found the best way to move around in these heavily forested areas is to tree hop. Especially at night, because I don't think mobs can spawn on leaves, which is a good thing, because especially if you're really good with the jumps. Oh yeah, super pro. You can really make some fair amount of distance with very little combat, so... That's where I've been getting my iron. Time to show you the next thing. Hello again. Uh, came here to show you uh, the farm that I've been uh, making. It's grown a little bit. <laughs> when you guys last saw it, it was just uh, here. Um, this is a barn, basically. Um, Still don't have a name for it, or a place for the pigs. Um, 
definitely gonna need to come up with a place for the pigs. But, I don't know. It's just the basic. Now, the uh, observant may notice that the cows have a lot larger area than the sheep and the chickens and right now definitely the pigs. Uh, and that's a good question. Why is that? Well, simply because I'm going to be breeding a lot more of these guys than either one of these two. Honestly, I might only breed a couple of these two because they're really not useful. I mean, they're going to regrow their wool. That's what this little line of dirt is for. And I think, do I have any dirt on me? I have a little bit. Not a lot. Uh, dirt, dirt, dirt. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the one thing I always have too much of, and now I need more. But yeah, once this grass grows in here, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Um, I may get rid of it. I may uh, make a walkway of some sort. I I'm not sure yet, uh, but yeah, this is the f this is the barn. Um, this area is definitely going to be uh, heavily used. This is definitely going to be an area that I'm going to be in a lot. I think I'm going to move a wheat farm to down here, and a melon farm, and a pumpkin farm as soon as I find the last two. I'll probably dig out some places for that. Um, also, um, it's tentative right now, but I'm thinking about having, I've already done it once, but I'm thinking about having this area be a mushroom farm. Big mushrooms. You know, mushroom plus bone meal equals more mushrooms than you really want. <laughs> so I'll probably be eating a lot of mushroom stew only bad thing is it doesn't stack but so this is the uh, farm or I need a better name I'll think about it see you later